It is said that life is a story and it is true. So a town of many lies is rich in stories. This is certainly true of our town Druin. In 2015, the Stories of Druin project began with people from three different partner organisations joining together to record the stories of their town. Druin has been a small town for most of its life, having been settled later than other Victorian towns because of the dense forest which covered the land. Pioneers and early settlers arrived in the late 1800s and worked hard to clear the land and establish the community. Life was primitive and very hard, and the resilient survived. Because it is a relatively young town, there are residents in Druin who can go back just three generations to the pioneers, and they have wonderful stories to tell. Many people have lived and worked in Druin or the district all their lives. People knew each other and banded together when times were hard. Farmers, timber workers, businessmen, school teachers, shopkeepers, churchgoers, sporting clubs, publicans, servicemen and women, shire employees and councillors, blacksmiths, truck drivers, quarrymen, fire brigades, musicians and those who worked for industries such as the Druin Butter Factory, the flax mills, the plaster works and classic weaving mills were all part of this rich community. But the town is changing, with the population growing exponentially because Druin is now considered a peri-urban suburb of Melbourne. Thousands of people are moving from Melbourne's suburbs and much of the town, farmland and community is changing rapidly. In 2015, the committee for Druin was looking at the assets of Druin. The local people were identified as one of the greatest assets. The Stories of Druin Committee was formed and spent four years interviewing, recording, editing, presenting at the stories of the people of Druin and Blun Blun Shire. We hope the stories will do justice to their legacy of the people who have come before us and have been part of our fabric of our district and we hope the stories will inspire those who chose to call Druin home.